Somebody's got to be watching. Look at the papers. Every day somebody's getting indicted. I'm tired of that. I want government that's going to be honest. I want government that's going to be uh, for the people, by the people, like it used to be. I mean, the first thing we have to do is let them know that we're watching. It's the average citizen that's normally underestimated. We see everything, but uh, we just don't know how to go about using the information. This watchdog training, uh, made possible by a grant from the Chicago Community Trust, just getting underway, going to be expanded citywide. Everybody wants to live in a good community. Everybody wants their government to work for them. And we can't rely on just a few people doing it. We can't rely just on electing one person to go in there and try to be the watchdog for the entire town. We all have a responsibility. Our journalist's responsibility is to monitor the conduct and misconduct of the government. Our job is to inform, to explain, and even expose, and that's what this meeting is all about. Two tools that we use as journalists are these two laws, the Open Meetings Act and the Freedom of Information Act. We're going to talk about what is FOIA, the nuts and bolts, how to file these FOIA requests, and then what do you do when you get a denial, and how do you make sure you protect your rights. In the spring of 1998, I told my story to the Assistant U.S. Attorney Patrick Collins and to a room full of federal investigators. And I continued to show them where to look so that they could find the evidence on their own. And the rest is history, and I have no regrets. None. Hearing people and their stories will give others courage to step up and do the same. You know, to see that you know, ordinary people do this. It, it doesn't take a, a superhero in order to stand up and, and to say, just wait a minute, something wrong here. You folks are going to be the army that's going to help us take back our little d democracy, eliminate the corruption tax, restore faith, and finally have a city, a county, a state that we can be proud of instead of being a national embarrassment and a national laughingstock. It'll be a little bumpy, but I guarantee it'll be exciting.